The highest point being closest to land, yep. sloping southward, decreasing towards the ocean. So we'd have to dig some more. Yeah. Right? Well, the other thing, too, is you can see this flare. Yep. Why the flare? I don't know. My thought is you have a wagon or an oxen come down there, and this is a turnaround. Yep. If oxen were used to offload a ship or pull heavy loads, they would have to turn around, thus the need for the flare in the road. This shows that there was a tremendous amount of work done on the island, perhaps to conceal and hide something. So, Bill, pull that back a little bit, if you would, see if we see anything else. Right. And then keep Gary busy. <laughs> All right. It has been an especially challenging week for Rick, Marty, and their team. However, their determined efforts to keep finding answers all across Oak Island is showing promise that the ultimate reward may lie buried deep in the money pit. Because as they keep digging, they are not only revealing evidence that people went to great lengths long ago to keep an immense secret, but to also hide something of potentially priceless value. Next time on The Curse of Oak Island. Look at this. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's gorgeous. This was used to lift a chest into a wharf. Whoa. And it's very, very old. Here is the cave. You could see some sort of opening. That's pretty clean, right? Eh? Yeah. And it's not natural, then, right?